Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my trophy log series. This is the series where we keep track of our most prized possessions. In the last episode we managed to catch a Sigil trophy on Donetsk River. In this episode we are heading to a new lake but before we do that this is the fun spot segment of the video where I try your fishing spots. Today's fun spot is on Oldberg. This spot is supposed to give 30 kilogram carps so let's see if it actually is working. First fish I caught was a nice grass carp weighing in at 6.3 kilos, then I caught a gibble carp, a small grass carp, a crucian carp, medium sized grass carp that would ruin you on your beginner feeder set, a big 13 kilo grass carp which was the biggest fish from this spot. I sold all the fish for 81 silver so I would say it was a lot of fun and definitely worth it. Thank you very much for all the big donations once again. I think in one of the future episodes I will do a whole episode of grinding money just to buy a lot of bait. The wheel has once again landed on Oldberg Lake, so I guess we have to do it. I wanted to thank you all for watching my videos. I left the Discord poll slash Q&A link below. It is just for me to gather some feedback and give you guys some answers. And yeah, thanks for watching once again. The first spot of this episode where I'm fishing at is at 3529. I will use clip size 8, hook size 7 or 1 for the bait night crawlers and fish pieces. And we have our first fish on, on the night crawlers, which is a nice patch over 700 grams. That is a good sign to see. On the current setup, I use night crawlers on two rods and fish pieces on one rod. Why I'm doing this is because I'm trying to catch some eel with fish pieces and I want to catch a perch trophy on night crawlers. But as it seems, we've just caught a roach, which is totally not a perch. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Yeah, you gotta have your fun drinks. Another fish is on, let's see what it is. Oh. It is a tiny tench, 700 grams. It's very nice to see some tench because I still need a tench trophy as well. And I would really love to have one because tench is also one of my favorite fish in real life. So in this episode, we are going to mainly hunt for three species which I need for the trophy log, which are a pike, perch and eel. I know eel is a very, very far stretch because they're like extremely rare to get. Perch, on the other hand, not so rare to get. Pike semi-rare i would say maybe like uncommon but yeah i just really want to go pike fishing as well because i've done almost no pike fishing and i finally have all the gear that i need to do some proper pike fishing on oldberg but it seems like we have another fish on which is a roach and not a bad one it's uh I'm not going to say it. Well, let's hope that Roach will disappear and we get more perch. Oh, and this one is actually a perch. Maybe like 600 grams or so. Almost 650 even. That is very nice. I would love to have one that's over a kilo, at least this hour. And something is nibbling on the bait once again, and we have it hooked properly. And it is a very nice Roach, actually. Half a kilo Roach. Damn. I want to catch those in real life. Fish on the first bottom rig. Let's see what it is. It's a roach. Yay. And we have something going at the Bolognese rod. So let's see if we can hook that fish as well. I'm not the best of float fishing in this game. So I really hope I can get this guy. Oh, hooked it. Seems fairly nice, actually. Oh, it's a roach. 200 grams. So actually not as big as I thought it would be. Hey, but this Bolognese rod started working like crazy. I'm actually having more fish on this now than on the bottom rigs. And this is almost a 600 gram roach. Hmm, maybe we can actually get a trophy roach from here. Even though we don't need it, it would be still fun to catch one. Another behemoth on the hook. And this is actually big. It's one kilo and we have extra percentage in bottom fishing, which is very cool because at 70% we will unlock the loop rig. Okay, this one is actually putting in a little bit of a fight as well. And it is a nice perch. Almost a kilo perch. This is what I'm looking for. We need those that are 1.6 kilos for the trophy. But this one I can't complain about. It is still very nice. I just heard from a wise old man that if you like the video, you get some very good fishing luck. So yeah, I would do it if I was you. The keep net so far is looking pretty healthy. But we do have a majority of roach, which I'm not very happy about. But hopefully during the night time, it will change. What kind of a fish this is. Let's see... And it is a tench, so yeah, it's a tiny one. So not change for the better. But maybe, maybe it did change for the better because we have a nice perch on almost a kilo. We take that. Okay, I know what is on the hook already, but you will see in a second, it's an eel. I'm very happy about this. These fish are so cool to catch. This is not the biggest eel, it's almost 500 grams. But you know, where there is small ungurus, there has to be big ungurus as well. So we have to get it. This right here is my public apology to all the Lithuanian people who are watching the video. I'm very sorry about butchering the pronunciation so badly. I will do better next time. I promise. Anyways, 
back to the game. <laughs> we have a fish on the Bolognese rod, so let's see what it is. Hopefully, we'll take it soon. I'm not sure if it's on. Oh, it's on. It's an eel. Oh, that is cool. I just got an eel on a Bolognese rod. How am I supposed to get it to my inventory? It's like up there. Do you see where it is? It's just flying around. That's not an eel even. No, it's an eel. No, it's not an eel. It's a burbot. How am I so blind? How am I supposed to get it in the net? Somebody please explain it to me. Oh, actually, you can get it like that. Huh. Uh, we have another fish on. This one actually seems fairly big. It's fighting actually pretty well. What is this? Oh, it's an eel. It's a big eel. Wow. I'm eerily excited to see this fish. <laughs> It's almost two kilos and we have 70% bottom fishing done now, which means we can use the loop rig. But look at this eel, almost two kilos and it's going to be worth a lot of money. I suppose now is the time to tell you how big the eel trophy is. The eel trophy is 4,000 grams or 4 kilograms or for my American viewers, 8.8 pounds. So I have to get up there, like double the size I caught right now. It wasn't actually even my personal best, I think. Yeah, my personal best is over two kilos, actually, almost three kilos. Time to make some moolah. I filled in the Roche Cafe order for seven pounds at 88 pence, then sold the rest of the keep net for 81 pounds. In total, we made 88 pounds and 88 pence. Not too shabby, but I think we can do a lot better. This is new species. We have just caught a gibble carp. I don't need a gibble trophy. I still need a crucian trophy, so hopefully we start getting those as well. And what is this on the hook now on the nightcrawler? It is a nice perch. Let's see how big it is. It's 900 grams. It's so weird. All of the perch have stayed under one kilo, except one of them, which was like a few grams over a kilo. I'm thinking maybe this is not the spot for a trophy perch, but it could be because I've seen some people get some trophy perch from here. And it is very cool to get some sleepy boys on the side as well. And this one is a nice perch once again, but still not the one that we need. Well, inventory so far is looking decent. We also caught a random white bream from this spot and as you can see the weather is perfect fishing weather it is raining there is lighting the wind is super harsh so what else do you want when you go fishing in real life it's the same it's the perfect weather for fishing if it's sunny and everything's nice there's no mosquitoes why would you want that you want problems you don't want peace okay today the weeklies will be reset and i think i will stay on the second spot for the situ which is very cool to see it's my first time i think where i've stayed on the spot the whole week and not have been pushed out of the table something's nibbling take the bait mate come on okay we have a fish on actually i did not think i would hook it but it's an eel perfect fishing weather i told you it's perfect for eel fishing okay we have another fish on and it is an eel this is a tiny eel though only 300 grams i mean it's not that tiny it's like you know the average size but yeah i think i've actually jinxed myself with the previous clip because this is actually even smaller it's under 250 grams that is mental i also switched out my bolognese rod some time ago i do not use it anymore i have three bottom fishing kits on now and this is working like a charm and i've just missed a fish could this be another eel it is another eel and this one is actually way bigger than the one i caught before this is 600 grams also a marker fish so that means it has to be worth some money at least and we have something on the third rod as well let's see what it is hopefully another eel and it's not it's a burbot it's still cool to see but this one is very tiny only 600 grams i've caught so many eel right now let's actually check the inventory very quickly yeah four eel that is pretty crazy. Only one is marker though. And another fish is on. Is this another eel? No, it's not. It is a perch and it's a nice perch. Finally, over a kilo perch. This is exactly what I've been looking for the whole damn time. Okay, this eel is a bit better once again. This is almost a kilo eel. 991 grams. That is not too bad for an eel. Okay, another fish on here. Let's see what this is. It's a tench. Okay, awesome. Love to catch these. Hopefully we'll get more of these. I've only had like three tench in total, all being pretty small, but this one is finally a market tench at least. And another eel. Wow. This one is less than 500 grams, but still, I just keep catching eel after eel. I did not think I would do so well on the eels. I was here for perch. Maybe we should stay here longer, try to go for perch and an eel trophy. Because as I said, eel trophy is hard to get, but we could still get it. And someone just got an eel trophy here. Okay, something on the road number three. Let's see what this is. It is a burbot, and this seems actually fairly nice. So hopefully a marker. Yeah, it is. 1.6 kilos. Awesome. And let's sell our fish. I filled in Tench Cafe order for 13 silver and sold the rest of the keep net for exactly 71 silver so in total we made 84 silver not too bad but you know not too great either 
I've come to a new spot to actually test it out. I saw somebody catch an eel trophy from here and also a tench trophy. So the spot where I'm fishing at right now is at 2167. I will use clip size 14, hook size 1 or 7, and for the bait, night crawlers and honey dough. I will also have my float rod out just for fun because maybe the bite rate is not so good here and I can catch some bleak on the side for some extra cash. For the float rod, it's super simple. I have depth 18, hook 22, and for the bait, some flies. Gotcha. Nope. Missed it. Okay, let's put the rod down and check what is on the rod number two. Wait, never mind. Something actually took the float right away. And 46 gram bleak. That is not too bad. But I think we should get the fish out of the second rod now. Okay, what is going on? Um, Do I have the proper equipment on? I think I do. What the heck is this? Is this like a massive carp on honey dough? Oh, okay, okay. This will be a lot of fun. I was here for tench, but it seems like I have a, like a big grass carp or a common carp on. And these guys fight like hell, but I will fight back. So this fish doesn't want to budge almost at all. I'm trying to pull it in. I pull it in for like a meter or so, and then it keeps swimming further away. But I mean, I have 300 meters of line on here. I think I will get the fish in without a problem. Also because my gear is super good right now. But I really want to see what it is. Just imagine right now if this would be a blue tag tench. I don't actually think they would fight that hard. Especially on this gear. So, hmm. I think it's still a nice grass carp. Or a common. I still don't know. It has no zoomies. It doesn't like go absolutely nuts. But it is extremely strong. I don't have much experience with big carp in this game. So I'm not the best at identifying them right away. Or seeing what they are. Or how big they are even. Because, I mean, my gear should really like a 30 kilo carp. Almost a 30 kilo carp. Without too much of a hassle i think but right now it's having trouble and this fish is probably like max 15 kilos i would say i don't know even and the frog just took my float rods <laughs> yeah and i missed it as well okay i need to take this second rod into my hand right away otherwise i might lose the fish because you know the line goes slack the fish goes away okay i have the fish in almost just a few meters to go and i can see the head of the fish and this is a common carp a fairly big one, maybe even my personal best. 12.7 kilos. Okay, that is a very big fish. The common carp trophy size is 20 kilos, so we weren't actually too much off the trophy size, even though we were using just honey dough and no ground bait, no PVA, no nothing. Well, this bleak is something, it's not even too far off the trophy. And uh, this is a little common carp. Oh, this is a frog. It's not the trophy size frog, but it's a frog. And we also need a frog trophy, actually. It is time to sell, sell, sell. I filled in a frog cafe order for two silver and sold the rest of the keep net for 67 silver. So in total, we made 69 silver. Nice. Alrighty, back at the old spot. Let's see what we can catch from here. The first fish is a tench. This is a market tench. Not too bad. Now we have on a very nice fish, which is an eel. 675 grams another 800 gram eel and a roach another sleepy boy and a nice perch to top it all off well that hour went past so quickly it feels like it was edited but anyways no cafe orders to fill in but we can sell all of our fish for 70 silver which is not too bad because i afk'd almost the whole time and only paid just a little bit of attention to the game Okay, the bite rate has gone super bad, but we have a fish on finally. Let's see what this is. It is a roach. It's almost 800 grams. I think it's time to skedaddle from this spot and actually try something new and go pike fishing. So for pike fishing, I need a lure that is active right now on Oldberg. The lure I'm looking for is the X-Crank F6002, but unfortunately it's not on Oldberg, so let's check out if any other shops have it. Thankfully, Winding has it in stock, which is very good, so let's get it and get to cranking. Oh, first, I also need a new leader, which I will actually make myself, because we bought the fishing tool some episodes ago. A nice 31.5 kilo leader good for pike fishing. I don't think any pike will break that. So the spot where I will do all the pike fishing is at 60, 22. I will use retrieval speed 30 for the lure spiker x crank f6002. 
I've actually never cranked in this game. I've never used any of these baits, so I don't really know how to do it. How to like jerk it. But I think using the left click that I'm using right now is one way to do it, which I don't think is the most effective. We have a fish on, but I think the most effective way is to just reel it, stop it, reel it and stop it. I will do some testing and let you know which one works the best for me. Okay, this is like a behemoth of a pike on right away. This is my second fish and I caught it on reeling, stopping and reeling. This is the method I did. But look at this fish. Wow, that is a mammoth of a pike. What the heck? That is so big. Okay, it's trying to spool me. But no way, buddy. You are coming into the net. But this fish, absolutely stunning. Come on, calm down. Just get in the net. Okay, seven kilos almost. Five grams of seven kilos. I wonder how much is that pike even worth? Probably a lot. And also, my new personal best pike. Yes, we take that any day. But yeah, I'm doing this, as you can see right now. Just reel in a bit, stop, reel in a bit, and stop. It is way more comfortable for my hand, and it's just... I don't know, it works, okay? New PP, I told you. So far, the bite rate has been great, and oh, we have another fish on already. This one seems pretty decent as well, maybe a few kilos. Yeah, almost two kilos, not too bad. But as you can see, I keep reeling in these pike one after another, and now I also wanted to tell you something about pike. The pike trophy size is 12 kilos. The one we had before was 7 kilos and I saw somebody actually drag in a nice trophy pike from this spot. Actually another fish on? That is so quick. What the heck? But yeah I think we could get actually a trophy pike from here. And this one over a kilo but we take it. Money is money. How is this even possible? I just got a less than 200 gram perch on this crank. Like this crank is bigger than the patch. Another big fish on. This is another nice pike. These pike are so vicious, they come out of nowhere, you don't expect them to bite. It's almost 7 kilos once again, what the heck? But yeah, this one literally bit my lure right in front of my legs. It was like a meter away. So that is crazy. I love pike fishing. This is actually so much fun. So much better than spin fishing on Belaya. And we have another perch on. This one is actually fairly big. 700 grams. Wait, could this mean I could get a trophy perch from this spot? If that is so, then what was I doing at the eel spot I mean people call trophy perch from there but still cranking a trophy perch would be so much more fun another pike on this is insane it's like I'm bleak fishing on winding rivulet right now just fish after a fish oh man now I remember why I did not like lure fishing that much. I've just snagged myself and <laughs> I do not enjoy it, frankly. But there is always an easy fix. Just log out of the game. It is time to sell the fish once again. There is no cafe order I could fill in, but the inventory is worth 170 silver. This is exactly what I have been looking for. I am so, so happy. We finally are making some money. So I'm back at the eel spot. You might be thinking why you just said you want to go and crank a perch trophy or something. Yeah, I'm here because it's going to be nighttime soon and pike and perch do not bite on the lures that often during the nighttime. So I will try to get an eel trophy during the nighttime here and during the daytime I will go cranking at the little spot on Oldberg. So we will see what we can catch during the nighttime here. Maybe a trophy or maybe not. And during the daytime, possibly a pike trophy, possibly a perch trophy. This fish is actually putting in a fair bit of a fight, which is really good to see. It is a tench, and this is my biggest tench from this spot so far, I think. Actually, not even the biggest one. I haven't had a single bite on the second rod. I think I need to configure something out. Wait, I actually have a fish on. Oh, sorry for yoinking you in, rough. But 45 grams, this is uh, quite a surprise. Another perch on. This perch is fairly nice. 800 grams. Pretty much half the trophy size. Only half to go. Hey, maybe you can take two perch, you know? Just glue them together and we have a trophy perch. Hmm. Maybe we can do that. New update idea. Money, money, money. Filled in the perch cafe order for 12 silver, then sold the rest of the keep net for 60 silver. Not too bad, but we did not have much luck today. Hopefully, tomorrow will be better. I am back at the pike fishing spot. I also have one bottom rig in, just for fun to see what I could catch from here. And it seems like we have the first fish on. Let's see what it is. It seems to be very tiny though. Okay, it's a perch. So, target species. That is not too bad at all. 1.1 kilo perch. So this is so far the biggest perch, if I don't remember incorrectly. And if so, that is a good sign. But it's so odd, I caught it so late in the day at 9 p.m. Okay, this is a big boy eel. I really wonder how big it is. Is it like a 2 kilo eel? 
maybe more, maybe less. I don't really know. I think I'm overestimating the weight of this guy. Oh yeah, it's almost 1.5, so definitely overestimating. But bottom fishing percentage once again. Fish on. It is a patch. And this is, I think, my biggest patch so far. Once again, the perch are getting bigger and bigger. It's not the trophy size, but it's close probably. Oh no. It is 17 grams of the trophy size. No. <laughs> Why me? I could have ended up the episode right now, right here, with a nice perch trophy on the crank. But instead, I'm being trolled by having a fish that's 17 grams off the trophy size. I mean, it is no 1 gram off the trophy size, but 17? Still game? Could have, like, given those extra 17 grams? No? Okay, no. Yeah, I, I get it. Back to cranking. Big pike alert. Oh, yeah. That was a nice hit. And it is trying to spool me. Am I hearing the reel going crazy for a second or no? But... Let's see how big this fish is. This is another behemoth of a pike, at least for my standards. If I would have a pike like this in real life, I'd go nuts. 5.4 kilos, almost 5.5 kilos. So that is definitely a very nice pike. Hopefully I won't get snagged behind the tree over there. That was a bad cast. I left my bottom fishing rigs in for the day and I can actually hear the bell going on. So something is on the hook right now. Hopefully it won't get off in the meanwhile while I'm running there. So let's go and see what it is. It is still on. It is still on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is a nice fish. Or oh, no. Yeah. Oh, it's an eel. During the daytime? No, that is not right. Why during the daytime, man? This is also fairly big as well. 1.7 kilos, so pretty close to 2. That is awesome to see. Time to sell our fish. Quick perch cafe order for 11 silver, and then I sold the rest of the keep net for 177 silver. In total, we made 188 silver, which is the best selling trip so far. I am extremely happy about this trip. I have had like two bites so far on the fish pieces. One was a eel, and then I had a burbot, I think. Oh, actually, I had a sleeper as well, so three hits in the whole time I've been recording here. And this is an eel on the fish pieces, finally. Once again, 600 grams. So in like, I don't know, five to six maybe seven eight trips i don't i don't really know how many trips i've done i've had only two eels on the fish pieces but we have another fish on the night crawlers and this is a burbot tiny one though now something is biting again something tiny once again but this is another eel wow okay we're catching a lot of eel this day this is the second one already and yeah i can't be complaining this is not an eel but this is a roach i don't want to get any roach Another fish is on. Another roach. Please, leave me alone, roach. I don't want any of you guys. I've had enough of you. Oh, okay. This is something big. Wow, okay. This is a burbot. And this is almost three kilo burbot. My biggest burbot on Oldberg. So a new personal vest on this water body. We like to see that. Fish pieces finally had another hit. And it is an eel. And this time a fairly big one. 1.6 kilos. So this is worth a solid amount of silver. Another eel almost 500 grams we actually have another fish on the fish pieces so this is amazing 1.3 kilo eel before that fish pieces were not getting any bites but now it's working let's sell all of our fish once again this time i did no pike fishing but the inventory is still worth 107 silver thanks to all the nice eel i caught so i'm very happy about that we put in very low effort but actually caught some nice fish and made some nice cash well i am so flattered right now this seems like another eel once again and it is a nice one as it looks like yeah 900 grams under a kilo no new textures but still a fairly nice eel we are back at the pike fishing spot and we have another decent pike on i wanted to do some more cranking because it's so much fun i absolutely enjoy it and well, look at the outcome. Another almost 5 kilo pike, so why would I not like to fish here? I mean, fishing is fun. The fish are worth so much money. I almost had a perch trophy, and the bite rate is insanely good. As you can see, I have another fish on already, which is a tinier pike, but we take that. Another behemoth on the hook right now. This is so nice, also for fishing percentage. I can get my spin fishing up by so much while fishing here, because these fish are so huge. And there is a better chance at getting fishing percentage. Okay, come on. Come to the net, lad. This is like another 5 or 6 kilo pike. Yeah, 6.3 actually. So, yeah. Hmm, decent. We take those. Another perchy boy. 600 grams. Okay, come on. Hit fish. I need to catch something. Oh, actually it hit almost right in front of my legs. And this is a decent fish once again. This is so much fun. Like cranking. Hmm, I enjoy it a lot. 4 kilos. 
inventory is looking so good and we have on oh did you see that it just jumped out of the water for a second do you see this this fish is absolutely huge it is putting in a fight the one i caught before that was like seven kilos it did put in a fight but not like this so this has to be bigger and this pike is looking like an absolute behemoth 8.6 kilos almost a nine kilo pike that is a new personal best once again and only a few kilos off the trophy size i am so happy okay this episode so far has been absolutely amazing and we're almost at 50 percent spin fishing as well today awesome another eel on the hook so this is probably another around a kilo yeah Almost 900 grams, not bad at all. Okay, something is really pulling on this rod. Let's see what it is. Maybe a big tench? Oh no, it's an eel. It's not a tench. Oh, don't you dare to freaking joke with me right now. Is this a trophy eel? Do you see the size of that? 5.4 kilos? The trophy size is 4 kilos. I've just caught a 5.4 kilo eel trophy and it's a rare fish this feels illegal to get so early sorry for the pun but that is absolutely nuts look at the exp 90,000 exp imagine if i would have prem right now as well it would be doubled with happy hour tripled that is absolutely crazy and we can't forget about the fishing percentage okay the most important thing <laughs> but that is absolutely nuts 5.4 kilos i still can't get over that we also got to level 24 so this was the perfect fish this eel is worth 319 silver and all the keep net together is worth 550 silver so this is definitely the most money i have made in one day this is like half a thousand silver in one day it is actually crazy to think about it like that i am super happy about this we actually caught an eel trophy so let's check the trophy log and see the eel photo in our trophy log hope you guys enjoyed take care bye bye